Hello there my fellow brick stackers, it's Chris and I'm coming to you today with another Lego haul. Um, this one is from Walmart and Kmart and Target. So, uh, spent the weekend out of town and hit a couple stores up. We uh, celebrated my son's birthday with some kin folks out of town and we had a good time. So. Uh, this should be Lego Hall 50 something 57 I think uh, I'll fix it if it's not in the description but anyway picked up a few things I knew I wasn't going in and finding a whole lot of clearance uh, some of you might criticize me for this but I did find one Technic uh, you'll see this in my Lego brick stacking in the wild video I explained this already but uh, it was the Grand Prix Racer it was uh, like a 1200 piece set it was sitting in the Hot Wheels section on the bottom rack, just sitting there. And um, box, it was mangled. It like it shredded. With scotch tape, they tried to put it all back together. And uh, I asked the lady how much it was, and she said she could sell it for sixty. And it was you know one hundred twenty nine dollars set, one hundred twenty dollars set, somewhere in that range. And you know that's a good price. It's it's fifty percent off. But I'm not at the point where I want to tie sixty dollars in a Technic set that even though it might have 800 to a thousand pieces of the 1200 in there it felt a little bit light to me uh, and she told me that she was either going to sell it to me now or she was going to take it to customer service and they were going to send it back to their uh, distribution center and get their credit for it and she sent it back to credit because I I didn't want to take the chance on it and tie sixty dollars into that when I had other things I wanted to spend money on so saw that missed that but while I was at Target I picked up this. My son, my seven year old son, saw this on the bottom shelf, pushed all the way to the back, and on an end cap where there was no other Lego. This 3061 friend set from 2011, I think, 2012, can't remember. The City Park Cafe. Now, 222 pieces. I'm sure, and this was a 50% off deal because it's normally 20 something dollars, 20, 25 dollars, something in that range, I believe. I looked it up right. It's got a good part out value, got a lot of cool elements in it, a lot of kitchen stuff in it. Uh, so, I'm going to part this out. I've only got one. Probably won't be able to find any more. I'll look online and see. But credit to my seven-year-old for seeing this. And then there was not much else to see. So, that was Target. Next was Kmart. Now, Kmart. I don't have a Kmart near me. Again, we were out of town. I haven't been in a Kmart since I was little. And that was a long time ago. So, uh, I keep hearing all these folks going into Kmart, Clutch finds deals, Bricksaw I think finds some deals there, some other folks. There's a big old spider coming across this table while I'm recording this. Get away. Alright, uh, sorry. And I always wanted to go into Kmart and find a deal. Well, <laughs> I went late at night on a Saturday night and I had never been in this part of town before in Memphis. And, and it's, I'm not saying it's a bad area, but I didn't feel safe. Uh, it could be a normal area in the day, but at dark, you had two security cards and in in those cars driving around and a mobile police station in the parking lot, blinking blue lights. Um, and every store around had bars on it. So, you know, got a little worried there. Walked in. I'm not lying. This Kmart only had maybe 10 different sets on the shelf, uh, mainly city stuff. I didn't see any superheroes. One Lord of the Rings set. Uh, I think one creator set, and that was it. I mean, it was nothing. Uh, tiny little Lego section. But I went down toward the sporting goods section, and I saw these little aisle end cap things, and it said seven, additional 75% off clearance items. Well, went down there, and I found this poly bag. Okay? It doesn't even have a name, at least on the bag. It's 30102. Let's see if my light can hit it right for you. And it's got uh, Olivia, and she's got her little laptop. And I'm sure there is a name for this set somewhere, but uh, it stayed in Walmart for a long time, and it's still at my local Walmart, it's still at full retail price. I think Brick Czar told me on Instagram that he's watching the same thing. This one never goes down. It has not been on sale. We don't know why. Uh, but anyway, I walked up, and it rang up $3.99 on the scanner. And I found an associate there, and I told him, I said, hey, I really want to try to get this. Is it going to ring up right at the register? Because the sign says 75% off, so which would put this at 99 cents. And they were real cool about it. Oh, we want to get rid of that. That's been here forever. Yeah, we'll sell it for 99 cents. So I go up to the cash register, 
and it rings up 399. They have to call to a department. Finally, get somebody on the phone, and they have to manually override this thing every for every one I had. Now, that is 35 poly bags, okay? So they scanned it, and a manager had to key a code in, hit enter, and then 75% and hit enter on every one of those. It took me 15 minutes to buy 35 of these things. And they were, I said, you can't find one button to push to get 75% off the whole purchase? No. But it's worth it, okay? Parts out for at least four times. I think it's six times what I paid for it. Close to $6 part out. I paid 99 cents for 35 of them. And I will not count out every one of them on here for you. You'll have to trust me. There's 35 poly bags for 99 cents each right there. So, that made my night right there. Then, went to Walmart. Well, actually, I went to Walmart before Kmart. I'm a little out of order. And when I got to Walmart, it was in a really high-class, rich part of town. And I thought, well, I'm going to go in here and, you know, those type of Walmarts usually don't have to put in their own clearance because everything sells. But, it actually... It didn't have hardly anything at all. They had less Lego than my store here in Mississippi, my local store, which has nothing. So, I was really disappointed. And then I went around the end cap, and uh, this is what I found was awesome. They had a Series 11 long hanging end cap container, and it was half full of Series 11 and half full was Series 9. Okay? Minifigs. And I said, well, it's weird that Walmart still has these, and that one's been opened, and I hope everything's in it. But anyway, um, I, uh, I'm about to check that, and that bothers me. When I hold up one out of this whole bag, and it's ripped on the bag, that ticks me off. But anyway, I went in the scanner. Well, I actually had my, had my iPhone out, and I scanned it, and it came up $2. So, hey, a dollar off each one. Now, 38 of these are in here. Two dollars each, so good deal. And I feel like that'll be giving me some good uh, product from a Bricklink store. You know, two dollars you can't go wrong. Even some of the ones that are plentiful, the ones that you know are harder to sell, you can sell for two two fifty and still move them through your store. Uh, so that's not bad. And that's not as good as y'all that are finding the Lego store selling them for ninety eight cents. I'll never see that in my area. This is the first time I ever found a minifig below MSRP, so below two ninety nine. This is the first time. So two dollars. I bought every one of them they had, uh, and the Series 11. I checked those; they're full price, two ninety-seven. I think is what they come up at Walmart. But anyway, so that's this Lego haul. Again, thirty-eight minifigs, Series Nine minifigs, and I'll have my work to do. My son will part, uh, open those. Thirty-five of the Kmart, ninety-nine cents, and recapping. Got this one friend's set. Okay. So, that's it for this LEGO haul, and as always guys, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Uh, also, if you don't mind, follow me on Instagram. I love Instagram. You will see me as I'm shopping. I post videos and pictures there, and all of us that are on this YouTube com community, the LEGO community, that, um, I'm not going to try to name folks because I'll leave somebody out and I don't mean to, but you know who you are. We all share the information together. We all communicate on there, so check us out on Instagram. So. Until next time, guys, y'all continue to stack those bricks. See ya.